So what would happen if you take Nishane's Hasiva and mix it with Nishane Annie? Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto this hybrid that I've had a blast wearing and it's brought back a little bit of excitement in the Dua brand. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, c 2 to the to So Dua created another hybrid of two hit fragrances, and this is gonna be one of those that I predict are going to be a fucking hype. For sure, if you're a Dua fanboy, this is gonna be one that you're going to get in your arsenal. I even think that they're sold out at this point, and I have no idea if they're even gonna bring it back, so. It is what it is. I've worn it, I wanna say about four times already, and man, I've had a blast wearing this shit, and I've gotten two unsolicited compliments at open houses by strangers on a line, which is a rare situation because everybody's wearing face masks, but clearly that didn't stop them from giving me a compliment, which felt good because being around people, even though it's a fucking open house, and I hate standing on lines, and this market's a piece of shit. It was a dope feeling to have somebody reach out and was like, wow, that smells nice, what fragrance is it? And I honestly, completely forgot the name while I was on the line and I was like, yeah, just look up this website because I forgot. And Dua's version is called Ottoman Drowned in Vanilla. Which is clear why I would forget this name. Ottoman Drowned in Vanilla. Like, can you make this shit any longer? It barely fit in the font. Now I'm gonna spray this shit on the test strip and give you my vibes from this fragrance. Although, again, I've worn it a few times already and it's really been a fun, fun, Delicious fragrance. I like this shit a lot. This is a fire hybrid. Like I'm smiling like a little chick. It's fucking good. It, I'm a Nishane whore, right? I love Annie. Hasiva has the appeal of an Aventus. It has that Aventus DNA, but it has its separate entity and slight personality differentiating itself from the King Aventus. Now Annie's just in a league of its own. It's a beautiful fragrance, absolutely my favorite from the house of Nishane. So when you take a popular DNA-esque in the realm of Aventus with that high bergamot and pineapple punch, and you mix it with such a sweet, elegant, cute, fucking delicious genetically modified body like weird science hot chick like Annie you get a fucking banger this shit is a dope combination that I would never combine on my own because one I'm lazy I tell you that all the time two I don't layer three ain't nobody got time for that I don't got time for that I'm still shopping for fucking hours this shit is just Bergamot pineapple opening with a smooth, creamy vanilla. That's what you get on that opening, right? And that mid is just rolling in cardamom and this black currant with this little bit of spiciness and a bit of a green vibe. It's so airy, the citrus is bright, it's beautiful, it's well balanced, it doesn't feel like a fuck up. There's a lot of dual ones that don't smell great on the opening when it gets to mid and dry down is when the fragrances start to marry and they start to do their whole hormone thing in this one it smells delicious right from the rip and one is not overpowering the other so it just feels like a nice marriage like when you find somebody that you pipe it and y'all just fluidly fuck like it just you ever kiss somebody and when you're making out with them or you just tonguing them down not that I would know because I've been married for a fuck long time it just works well like you're not just uh, and they're like mm. like it just is a fucking disaster like you just mesh and everything is just working well and then you just start banging out like rabbits and it just flows like banging to the beat perfectly that's what this is i know that's a weird way to describe things but i'm just a fucking weirdo i like this shit i'm gonna put this shit on skin now because it's it's this is gonna be one of i'm telling you this is gonna be one that's gonna be consistently sold out so if you're a dua fanboy if you hate dua number one you shouldn't be watching this video number two you shouldn't be watching this video and number three you should have skipped the video within the first like 10 seconds but if you're a dua fanboy this is gonna be one that you're gonna have to like watch keep an eye on because it's sold out now i think Think. If it does come back, it's gonna sell out quick. Nice, right now, black currant, pineapple, grapefruit, vanilla, green. The green is really, wow, the green is wilding out right now. Little piney, that vanilla. Vanilla, cardamom, black currant, that fucking, mm. It's a, I mean, I'm not gonna just, that's it. What else am I gonna tell you? It, this fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't have to do a tri-brid or a quad-brid or just throw everything in the kitchen sink in a fucking bucket, shake it up and then put it out. Just two hitters that work well can do wonders on your skin and this is what I'm talking about. Absolutely a ball spray. Right there. Damn, that was like... That's, I got a glob right at the tip of... 
Mount Everest. I'll see y'all bitches next time. Are you excited about this? Do you have this? Do you share my same thoughts or you just don't give a fuck? Either way, I still love y'all bitches and I'll see y'all motherfuckers next time. You know who it is? Biggest in the game. Smooches. Who the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>